All right, William VE4VR here, and uh, it's time just to give you an update on where things are at with the Google Assistant integration with Ham Radio. So the short answer is it's a done deal, it's deployed, and we now have a repeater and a simplex station set up as prototypes for this, and it's uh, working really well. So here in Winnipeg, Canada, we have 146.76 negative offset, and that is IRLP station 1504. And we also have another station, VE4WSC, which is IRLP station 1809. So that's a, a duplex and a simplex test station. And uh, time to give you some demos. So functionality, we can do everything the Google product can do. And in addition, we can control things on the repeater like links and uh, radio checks, uh, anything we want, hardware GPIO. We can turn you know transmitter power up and down or whatever we need. Uh, talk to Slack, send Slack messages, emails, tweets, uh, check in the nets, all sorts of good stuff. So here I'll get going on how this thing works now because I think this is pretty neat. So... Uh, part of the challenge is figuring out how to trigger this. So what I did is I went with pressing A or 0, A being assistant, 0 being operator, and that gives you the full prompted experience with the voice prompt. Once you get familiar with it, though, you don't always want to hear it talk, so you can just hit the B button, and that'll give you a tone. And finally, uh, a neat feature I call the conversational mode. If you hit C, it'll actually just have a two-way conversation with you, and you can keep talking back and forth like a human conversation. So I'll go through the options here. So I'm going to key up. Oh, the repeater's busy. Here, let's wait for it. All right, this is VE4VR. I'm your Google Assistant. How can I help you? What's the weather forecast? In Winnipeg today, it'll be rainy with a forecasted high of 5 and a low of 2 degrees Celsius. Okay, so that's just a simple invocation of uh, Google Assistant. Now, I'll show you how this works if we don't have the prompt, because once you get doing this repetitively, you don't want to wait for that. So the B button will just give us a tone. What's the weather forecast? In Winnipeg today, it'll be rainy, with a forecasted high of 5 and a low of 2 degrees Celsius. All right, so that's some basic functionality. But we can also do linking, tweets, uh, Slack messages, emails, net check-ins, and even controlling GPIO on the repeater site. So we could turn the transmitter power up and down if we want, all with voice. Uh, so here, let's do some of the other functionality that's not out-of-the-box stuff, like uh, let's send an email to myself. So I'm going to use the B button. This is V4VR. Tell Victor Romeo this is a test email. Emailing William VE4VR your message. Okay, so that was an email message. And earlier I did a, uh, a tweet from here too. So if I check into the repeater, uh, it'll tweet saying, you know, who's checking in on the repeater. And of course, that could also trigger the logic to check someone in on APRS or something else interesting. I think I called it, uh, or I think if I just say my call sign, that one triggers it. I forgot how I configured that part of the code. All right, V4VR. V4 Victor Romeo. Sorry, I can't help with that yet, but no. I'm always learning. No, okay, I guess I got that one wrong. Let's try it again. V4 VR. VE4 Victor Romeo. Got it. William VE4 VR checked in. Thank you. Yeah, okay, so there we go. And that one's going to trigger a tweet. So if I refresh Twitter here in a second. I should see it talking. That's the old message still. All right. Well, it's going to take, I guess, a few seconds for that to carry through. No, maybe not. Interesting. Okay, so that's another one to look at. It's still being, I guess, uh, finicky. So what else can we do with this? Uh, of course, we can bring up uh, nodes and IRLP. We can connect and disconnect. So I will connect to the echo reflector uh, without having to use full DTMF. So the echo reflector is 9990. And, of course, you can set up aliases. So maybe maybe Winnipeg's better, which is unplugged, but it'll give you an idea of how this works. So I'll do the, the tone invocation. This is V4VR. Bring up the link to Winnipeg. Done. And it should fail. The because... node that you called is not responding. Okay, good. That's because the Winnipeg node's temporarily unplugged. So that was the, the, the actual connection. And, of course, those aliases can be set up to... Uh, connect to any station that people are familiar with. So you can either say connect to the node number or connect to Winnipeg or Vancouver or wherever we feel like. I just want to see where this Twitter message is that I sent out. So I don't know, maybe the Twitter API doesn't allow me to send the duplicate message because it's precisely identical. All right, so that's some uh, basic functionality here. 
And uh, there you have it. That's uh, full integration. You can hit A, B, or C, or zero to bring this up in different modes. And we can run the repeater and ask it anything in the world, like, uh, you know, where's uh, let's find out where the ARL was uh, formed, which year. This is V4VR. When was the American Radio Relay League formed? April 6th, 1914. So that's an idea. Literally, this, this thing can answer any question, which anybody who uses Google Assistant knows. But now it's hooked up to radio really well. All right, V4VR.